I want to test one more thing, which is applying this thumb position now to all heights mm. of the cue ball. So, as, I, as we said earlier, what a lot of players do, the mistake a lot of players do, is with the screw back, they just drop the thumb. Right. Instead of drop the whole unit. Mm -hmm. But this is perverse to some players because, no, the thumb is high. Mm. But to go low on the cue ball, I have to go low. Mm. They get that sense of being low. So what we want is to find the lowest possible bridge hand you can make. Before. There I'm losing straight, yeah? There's no guide there. Yeah. That is the lowest I can go okay. and keep the cue straight. Right. Okay. So we're not lowering the thumb, we're keeping finger and thumb fixed at all heights. So we'll test maximum height, okay, and minimum height. Okay. Let's see you do that. Okay. Maximum. Okay, very good. Go to a centre cue ball now. Centre cue ball height. I feel my hand is moving. It is a bit, yeah. At that height, which is above, above the cue ball, oh, yeah. it does move a little bit. Okay, that's good. A bit lower. Go to my lowest. Yeah, go. I'll be the lowest. You can go. Is it contacting that though, or sliding off slightly? It's slightly contacting it. Not so much. until you lose, mm. oh now look, the thumb now is at, you're lowering the thumb there actually. No, I've, I've kept it fixed, so when I do this, you know, it's, it's fixed over here. Mm -hmm. But then it, it's, that's actually a bit lower okay. than it was at its optimum. So find the optimum, go, go a bit higher, it's so like centre height on the cue ball, on the imaginary cue, a bit higher. I think I need the cues just to see where I'm hitting it. So, yeah. Yeah, go in position. A bit higher. Okay. So, this is nice. so yeah, keeping the thumb and the finger locked, just go a bit lower. A bit lower. A bit lower. A bit lower. probably as low as you can go. In fact, you might be losing a bit of performance there. Mm. Let's go mil, one mil higher, one or two mil higher. That looks okay. So from there, obviously, that's not screw back, is it? It's not. Mm. It's about centre ball. So if you stand up, up, yeah, exactly right. Yeah. Would you rather keep it as, uh, as parallel? Uh, no, I wouldn't. Uh, because what you did there was absolutely correct just at the end. Okay. So you found that your lowest possible bridge hand is about centre cue ball mm -hmm. with a parallel cue. Yeah. Same as me. I can't go lower than that. Right, yeah. So you have to raise Otherwise, the butt. So I have to raise the butt to play screw back. Mm -hmm. I have no I have no other choice. It's yeah. It's a bit of a cost to go steeper. Right. But it's it costs me less than flattening the bridge hand too much. I, I fixed my football because with pull when I do screw backs, power especially, I have to do a close one just because I'm used to it. So I used to before do it like this and yeah. actually raise it, which was a big mistake that Dr. Dave showed me, you know. So he taught me to actually flatten this like mm -hmm. that and just twist a little bit. Okay. So now I can get okay. all the way down with, with a flat one. But before I used to do this way. Yeah, actually I understand. Raise my, you know. Understood, yes. Yeah. There's no, you lose the accuracy. Yeah. Way, right? All right, so um, let's play a couple of these screw shots where you find out, and we're going to do this, look, just a simple shot. I'm going to set up a simple shot here, look. So that's as low as I can go. 
Okay, then I'm going to lift the back of the cue slightly. basically your strategy for screw, shot, bridge, hand. Okay. Yeah. If I get into it immediately? Yeah, eventually you'll get into it immediately. Right. But yeah, you can't go any lower than That's that. That's hopeless, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but I used to do that when I was learning the game. I thought, you know, I have to be parallel. Yeah. And then I have zero V, zero control, rubbish at screw shots, can't even pot the ball. Right. Yeah. And wonder why. But it's freeing ourselves from this dogma that yeah, is really works. liberating. Hi, this is Nick Barrow and welcome to the world exclusive premiere of my Q Action Trainer. If I dilute the Q spray, and the idea is with the Q Action is just to make sure the Q is moving straight. Then when you feel it's moving straight, then pull the trigger. Thank you. 